Alrighty, welcome back to the channel. We are back with another Star Wars Unlimited Deck Tech, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at something a little different. Instead of looking at one of my builds, we're going to take a look at the PPG Star Wars Unlimited 5K that happened in Kissimmee, Florida over the weekend, I believe the 21st. And we're going to take a look at the breakdown here and talk about the winning deck list. So, as you can see, the top 16 um, was pretty much dominated by Boba, Sabine, and Vader. Uh, there were a couple of other decks that had, uh, had a couple other leaders that had a single deck in there, but Boba, Sabine, and Vader were the top top decks, which was a trend for the tournament. Uh, an overwhelming number of Boba and Sabine. I believe there were 129 players, by my math, according to this, uh, this chart here. Uh, and a fair amount, 60, 60 players on Bobo or Sabine, and then uh, Iden and Vader coming in at 15 each. So that's your that's your meta. There's your mid range, your aggro, and your control decks, kind of rounding out the top uh, top four spots there in the uh, in the meta. Uh, the winning deck was piloted by Guy Cohen. Uh, I don't know much about this player, uh, but I do know that he was on a Vader deck list. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that. And if you're not familiar with Darth Vader, he is a Force Imperial Sith with an action of one resource and uh, uh, exhaust. If you played a Imperial card this phase, deal one damage to a base and one damage to a unit. So this can be good for taking out a Greedo before you play any of your units to uh, to make his ability uh, useful or just pinging off shields stuff like that uh, his epic action happens if you control seven or more resources you may deploy him and when we deploy Darth Vader he deploys as a 5-8 with an on attack that you may deal two damage to a unit so that would be any of your opponent's units any of your units it doesn't care you can deal two damage to a unit so uh, that number is actually interesting because uh, that allows Darth Vader to one-shot the Luke uh, leader because Luke has seven uh, health, so you can deal two damage to Luke and then finish him off with the five damage there. So, Gi paired Darth Vader with Dagobah, which is just a 30, uh, a 30 health uh, blue base. So we are Vader blue. Uh, we are a control deck, so we will be taking a look at all of the elements of the deck. Um, this again, this is not my deck list, so I am not a hundred percent certain why all of the um, all of the cards that were chosen were chosen. But I'll do my best to uh, take an educated guess at it. Starting off the ground units, we're going to look at Death Star Stormtrooper. We have a playset of these, and what this guy is going to be good for is turn one. Uh, it is an Imperial unit, so you get a 3-1 body, and it activates Darth Vader's ability. So you can uh, you can use Darth Vader's ability on the first turn to start dealing damage to the base, pinging a shield off of uh, their your opponent's first turn if it's a crafty smuggler or just outright killing a Greedo. Um, very nice option to have. Second, we're running a play uh, a pair. I'm sorry, not a place, not a pair of Viper probe droids. We are a two resource three two that has a it's a decently statted ag aggro body, but we're using it here for the information. It's good to have early information in a control deck because you want to know what your opponent's planning on doing so that you can plan around it. So we run two of those. We are running a playset of Lieutenant Childson. This guy is a four resource two two. However, when you play him, you can reveal up to four Vigilance cards from your hand, and each card revealed this way, you get an experience token on Lieutenant Chilton. So he can be up to a 6-6 for four, which is very nice, especially paired with that Sentinel ability. So this guy, he's here to clog up the ground arena. Um, make him as big as you can. Um, he gets in the way of pretty much everything as a 6-6, so that's kind of nice. Finally on the ground, we have Palpatine as a pair. He's a 6-6 for 8 resources. He comes down with Overwhelm and when you play him you can deal 6 damage divided as you choose among enemy units. So that one does care about enemy units. Vader doesn't. Not super relevant but 6-6 um, six, six with Overwhelm is very nice but this uh, 6 damage divided as you choose uh, you can use it to 
shoot down a, a fence fire spray or to spread it out and take out a bunch of units. That's it for the ground. Next, we're going to take a look at the uh, uh, the space arena. And starting off that, we have a full playset of Infernal Four, uh, two mana, two th two resource, two three. Uh, that when you play or d when it's defeated, you get to scry two. So you look at the top two cards of your deck, put any number on the bottom, and the rest on top in any order. So Magic players call that scry two. Um, very good again for information card selection, etc. Uh, the two three body is is mostly irrelevant. You you want this card to be defeated more more often than not because you want to use that ability a second time to make sure you can shape your shape the top top of the deck the way that you want it. Uh, so we're running that as a playset. This one I don't understand fully, but we're running a single Imperial Interceptor, Imperial Interceptor, a four resource three two that when played you can deal three damage to a space unit. So this is likely here uh, again speculation. Uh, it's likely here just to take out the, the the seventh fleet defender after you pop it with uh, pop it with Vader's uh, ability, pop the shield, or take out a cartel spacer or what have you. Um, it does just deal damage to a space unit, so I guess that would probably be why you don't want to have a ton of them in your deck. Uh, it is pretty limiting where the damage can go, so you want some number, but maybe not a full playset. But we're running one. We are running a full playset of System Patrol Craft, much like Lieutenant Childson. This gets in the way. Has Sentinel. It's a 3-4. Uh, it just kind of gets in the way of everything in the space arena. So, slows down the damage being dealt to your base. And then our final... Our, our final uh, space arena card is Avenger as a full playset. This is our finisher. Um, if, if Vader's not able to be our finisher, then Avenger's going to be our finisher. Nine, resource, eight, eight, that when played or on attack, an opponent chooses a non-leader unit they control, defeat that unit. This card's very strong. If this card sticks around, it's going to end the game very quickly, uh, especially because it is making sure that trades happen before it, it even it comes out and, and kills something, it attacks, it kills something, and then it just goes at the base. So, very, very strong card, and has seen a significant uptick in play in the last couple of weeks. So, that's it. That's our units. We are we are running a very, very low number of units, which leaves us a lot of room for events. Uh, we are running one uh, upgrade, and that is a playset of Entrenched. Uh, this card... Uh, is very good. It gives it gives the uh, attached unit plus three plus three, but then it says it can't attack bases. So what we're doing with this, because we want to keep the lane open for Avenger, we're using this on Boba Fett's, we're using this on other ground units. This can be attached to their leader, so you can nullify their leader. Um, and then once you play this on something, usually in the ground arena, you just avoid that arena on your side use your removal on other stuff and then let that card sit there this it, it basically just nullifies a card nullifies a, a unit so another very strong card running that as a playset now onto the events we are running one force lightning um one resource for a imperial uh card this one, choose a unit, it loses all abilities for this phase, and if you control a force unit, pay any number of resources and it deal two damage to the chosen unit for each, each resource paid this way. We only have one force unit, and it's Vader. Uh, the odds that we're going to have this card when we have Vader out are slim. This is just to take the abilities away from something and potentially activate uh, Darth Vader's ability. Uh, I don't have a better explanation for this being run as a singleton. Uh, you would have to ask Geek. Uh, I don't hate the card, I don't love the card, I think it's a card. Uh, we are running one restock. This one is specifically for the control mirrors, where your games can get real, real long. And then this is so you can put some more, some cards from your discard pile on the bottom of your deck to avoid decking yourself. It buys you essentially two turns. Um, decking yourself in this game is not like magic where if you if you can't draw from a, an empty library you lose you lose the game you take three damage for every card you can't draw to your base so restock will save you uh, math says 12 damage which is which is nice and it'll also allow you to put uh, relevant cards back in your deck so if they killed if they killed off all of your avengers you can you can stuff an avenger back on the bottom and draw that late um, it, it's an interesting card selection. I don't, I don't fully 
think I agree with it, but I, I understand, I think, why he's got it in here. Full place on a force choke, this card is just good. Um, you don't care about your opponent drawing the card because it deals 5 damage. Again, you only have the one force unit in the deck, uh, so you're going to be paying 2 for this more often than not, but dealing 5 damage to a non-vehicle unit is outstanding for 2 resources. That's, that's the end of that conversation. That's just a good card. 3 making openings. Um, healing your base is very relevant, and dealing with small early units is also very relevant, so that card is just good removal. Open fire. Cheap. Uh, cheap removal. 4 damage to a unit. Simple. Power of the Dark Side. Full play set. Um, this one's good for when they only have one unit left, when they're trying to protect one unit, when they're trying to uh, Voltron a Luke with a lightsaber and a bunch of shields and a bunch of experience. This takes care of that. So, Power of the Dark Side is very good. It also activates your uh, Vader ability with it being a an Imperial uh, aspect. Pair of I Am Your Fathers. This card is uh, seeing a lot of play in control decks because it's one of those uh, two good things happen, but your opponent gets to choose which one. So it's got it's a it's got an obvious drawback in that uh, you can kill a Boba Fett leader with it unless your opponent says no, but then you get to draw three cards. So it if you need that leader to die, um, they're just going to say no, and you'll draw some cards. So obvious drawback there is that your opponent gets to choose, uh, but they're choosing between two very bad things for them more often than not. So that's why it's only a duo. But takedown, full play set. Uh, there are a lot of units being played with five or less remaining hit points, so this just takes out a lot of things. Uh, and then it uh, it takes out leaders because it does not care about it being a leader, so you do some damage to a leader and you can take it out. We are running Vigilance, even though we are a full, well, we're a full place of Vigilance, we're paying six resources for this because of the aspect penalty, because we are not double blue. But this card is so, so strong. Um, we're, if we hit late game against control, we can mill. If we hit, if we're against aggro, we heal. Uh, we're almost always using it as a, uh, as a removal spell and a, and a base heal. Uh, we situationally could give Vader shields to keep him in the game, uh, but more often than not, we're, we're defeating a unit with three or less and healing five damage to a base. Our, our base, specifically. I mean, you can heal your opponent's base if you really want to because of the wording on the card, but I don't know why you would do that. Full play set of Vigilance. Card is so strong that we're paying two extra, two extra resources for it. Which also puts it in the wrong... Uh, the wrong curve slot in this uh, in this deck list because we're running two vanquish just defeat a non-leader unit that's one that you're going to hold for their avengers that's one you're going to hold for their palpatines for for their you know their their big their big resource cost big units we got vanquish for them and then finally we have a play set of super laser blast because we don't care about units we're running so few units and a lot of our units do things when they die so being able to clear the board is relevant. That is the main deck. So now we'll take a look at the sideboard here. And in the sideboard, um, again, sideboards are usually very personal and um, meta-dependent, so I don't know if he is local to the area where the tournament was held and kind of knew what the meta was going to look like, or, or if he just threw some cards on the sideboard here, but we have one bombing run. Choose an arena, ground, or space. Deal three damage to each unit in that arena. That's going to come in against aggro. We have one search your feelings. That's going to come in against control. Uh, search your deck for a card and draw it. Uh, this could come in against other decks too. Um, sometimes you just need a very specific answer to something. Like if, yeah, you just need specific answers sometimes and this will help you find them. Uh, we are running a pair of Vader's lightsabers in the... Uh, sideboard. I imagine this comes in against mid-range to turn Vader into your um, your primary win condition. Turning him into a 9-9, an 8-9, I'm sorry, is uh, pretty scary. And then he gets to deal 4 damage to a ground unit if you play it on Vader. So just uh, another tool to help get over the edge. <clears throat> Running one forced surrender. Um, if you damage your opponent's base, you get to draw two cards and they have to discard two cards. So this comes in against control as well uh, because resource management, hand management is how you win control games. You want to have more cards than your opponent. So 
This comes in against control. Three repairs. These come in against uh, aggro as well. Just one resource to heal three damage to a unit or a base. So strong and versatile in, in that particular matchup. Can keep you alive for quite a while. And then two copies of Devotion. Uh, attached unit gets plus one, plus one, and restore two. So probably slapping this on Vader. Um, turning him into a 6-9 with restore two. Kind of, kind of a strong thing. So, that is Guy's deck list. Congratulations to him on the win. Uh, that's a pretty big deal. This is, the, I believe, the biggest tournament, uh, the biggest tournament payout that the the game has seen so far. So, to to stamp your name on to that uh, onto that trophy is a pretty cool thing. Uh, I'm gonna give this deck list a shot tonight uh, at my local. See how it works out. I can uh, I can post an update. I'm obviously not playing for five thousand dollars, but you know. It'll be fun. Maybe I'll get an extra pack tonight because of it. If you like what you saw here, go ahead and smash that like button. If you want to find your way back for more Star Wars Unlimited content, go ahead and smash that sub button. As always, thank you for watching. Have a great day.